Mr. M Mr. Rosario, um, quick question. How does it feel to go from being a, being the, how you say the hunter, to now being the hunted, given the fact that you are the unified champion? Eh, ¿Qué significa, con la pregunta, eh, Jason, ¿qué significa tú ser eh, el cazador y ahora que alguien te quiera cazar a ti en esta pelea? Bueno, realmente eh, eh, <laughs> hemos visto a, a, a Jimmy Charlo que siempre en su pelea habla de leones, habla de, de cazador y todo eso, pero realmente eh, eh, yo soy un guerrero eh, y yo, yo lo que sé es pelear. Yo voy a pelear y, y realmente eh, ese día se sabe quién, quién es el cazador ¿Y quién es la presa? Eh, yo no, no cuestiono lo que él dice. Realmente son, son frases que, que realmente quedan para la historia. Porque eh, son cosas que, que escuchamos y decimos, wow, se escucha lindo, se escucha bien. Pero realmente el día de la pelea, el día de la pelea es que se sabe quién es el cazador y quién es la presa. Well, it's very interesting because, you know, under Charlo's brand, you have the lion and the hunter and all that. But during the fight is that you're going to know who's really the hunter that on that night. I mean, I'm a warrior. I'm ready to fight this. And um, that, that's what we're going to see. Uh, we're uh, we're going to see that night who really is the hunter and who mm. really is the one that's going to be hunted. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. <laughs> Thanks, Jay Xavier. All right. We're going to have one, one more question from Jim Connolly before we wrap it up. Jim, you're going to have to unmute. And ask your question. Yeah. Hello, uh, Jermel. Uh, you're facing a fighter in uh, Cesario, like yourself, who's trying to cement his legacy in the division. Uh, what do you think about if the fight goes into the latter rounds? Um, where do you think you hold the advantages and where do you hold the strengths? And are you prepared to go a, a full... Do you think it will go the full 12 rounds? And if it does, where do you think coming down the home stretch that you will uh, emerge victorious? Well, um, I'm very strong throughout the whole fight from first to, to 12. I'm nothing to play with. I'm serious. I'm a savage. And if that's what it takes and we go that far, then we go that far. Since, um, you know, they thinking I'm going to be bagging up or moving around. I'm going to be boxing and being smart and setting up traps. I, I do this really well. I'm not going to give y'all the game plan. I'm not going to tell y'all what I'm going to do. But I'm not, I'm not playing. This is a serious matter for me. This is a serious matter for America, and I'm going to get ready to put on the show for y'all. And whatever I got to do, that's what they got to do. We go late, we go early, doesn't matter. And uh, likewise, uh, just Jason, to yourself as well, If you are you prepared to go the whole distance, the 12 rounds, uh, if it comes down to what could be a, a split decision? Uh, are you prepared in the latter rounds to go the distance? And what do you think are your strengths? That is uh, co coming down the home stretch that are going to make you victorious. Eh, Jason, are you prepared to fight 12 assaults? Because this could be a fight that could be a decision divided. And what are your attributes to win this fight? Well, really, what really me characterizes the most is the force, the fortress. I go... Estoy, estoy trabajando lo que es la rapidez, sé que Jim Marshall es un peleador rápido, es fuerte. Eh, estoy listo para aguantar, estoy listo para, para, para dar y, y espero que él también realmente. Eh, yo, yo siempre digo que, que todo es hasta un día, o sea, todo es hasta un día. Los imperios a un, un día tienen que caer, eh, los presidentes algún día tienen que cambiarse. Eh, realmente, realmente... Eh, este es el tiempo de Dios y este es mi tiempo, realmente. Uh, I, I do consider this my time. Empires fall, presidents fall, kingdoms fall. I mean, I'm known uh, as a fighter with a lot of power, but that's what I've been training for. I know Jamel is very fast, so I've been working on my speed for this fight. And um, I'll be ready. It doesn't matter if it goes a split decision or 12 rounds. I'm, uh, I'm ready for this fight. Uh, best of luck to both of you guys. We'll be watching here in Ireland with great interest and wishing you the both the best. Suerte, Jason. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Thank uh, you. Brian Custer, we'll come back to you to wrap things up.
All right. Thank you very much, Chris, uh, members of the media, for those questions. Guys, we'll wrap this up uh, real quick. Uh, Mel, uh, let me start with you because the week before you and Jason fight, we have Erickson Lubin taking on Terrell Gachet, and all of a sudden the winner becomes the number one candidate for that WBC belt and says they deserve a shot at the unified champ. And yet here is Landy Laura has come off his victory and says he deserves the shot. If you become victorious, who's next? Is it the winner of Gachet Lubin? Is it here is Landy Laura? Well, that's the hottest division. Um, um, and I, I don't know who next. I don't call that. That's not, you know, even though I am my own promoter and my own boss, I still have generals and I still talk with a team. And, I, you know, that's not my focus at all. I'm not in, they, they're, I, I, they're luckily they, that I even watch they fight, you know. So I'm so focused on what I got to do and how I do it that um, I'll be pulling tricks out the hat on this. And Jason, the same question to you, Felix. Ask him, hey, the week before they fight, Erickson Lubin, Terrell Gachet will fight. Uh, the winner says they deserve a crack at the unified champ. Here's Landy Lara says he deserves a, a crack at the unified champ. Who would be his pick? Eh, la misma pregunta, Jason. Antes, una semana antes de la pelea de ustedes, eh, va a estar peleando Gachet frente a Lubin. Eh, también Lara con una victoria. Eh, los tres dicen que definitivamente ellos están en línea para pelear, para unificar el título. Eh, ¿Con quién quisieras tú pelear próximamente? Bueno, realmente, ahora mismo yo quiero pelear con Charlo. Right now the fight is against Charlo. Realmente quiero pelear con Charlo. No tengo, no tengo a Lubin, no tengo a, a Lara, no tengo a Williams, no tengo a ningún peleador de la 154 en la mente. Si realmente yo tengo una pelea demasiado importante para mi carrera. Tengo una pelea demasiado fuerte y creo que realmente eso es lo único ahora mismo que, que estoy pensando el, el Jamel Charlo. The only thing I'm thinking about right now, Brian, is Jamel Charlo. I am not thinking of Gache, Lubin, or Lara. Right now, my toughest fight is the one that I'm going to have September 26th, and that's all I think about. And Mel, as we say goodbye, we asked your brother the same thing. Uh, can you give us a thought? What do you think about Maul and Darian Vinchenko, that fight? Um, they keep doubting my brother, and when they doubt him, he become, he a different animal. Um, I know that they talk about experience and all of these things, but uh, they overlook the experience he has. He, he, he's a very solid fighter, can box, move, and punch. Very hard-hitting. And um, I see that fight, you know, my brother being victorious.